Welcome to KeyCAD Tutorial 1.3 Part A Annotate and Edit Component Symbols Open a Schema At the moment you will notice that this, the symbols have numbers with a question mark like a U with a question mark that is for the uh, connector. The capacitor has a C with a question mark and the resistor has a R with a question mark. This means that the symbols have not been numbered. You can number these symbols by hand to give them specific numbers. This however can also be done automatically. Click on Tools then Click on Annotate Schematic. It is the icon with the page and the pencil with the tip towards the lower left corner and leaning forward to the right. The Annotate Schematic window opens. There are several options like Scope, Order, Options and Numbering. However, in this case you can leave them as they are. Click on the annotate button towards the bottom right. You will notice that there appears symbols or rather messages with the symbols allocated to the uh, symbols in the message annotation messages box. Click close. Now if you look at the circuit you will notice that the uh, component symbols have been numbered. There's U1, C1, R1, C3 and so on. I'm going to make a couple of changes uh, to the labels and the reason for that is that I've done this before and KiCad has now uh, numbered the uh, symbols slightly differently, given, given them slightly different labels. I'm just going to make these changes so that they comply with the previous allocation that was done by KiCad. I'm going to start with this connector, uh, select it, right click on it, let's try it again, right click on it, select properties, select edit re reference, and this I'm going to change to J1, uh, in the edit reference field window in the text box I type in J1 and click OK. You can see that it has changed. I'm also going to change this capacitor. First select it, then right click on it, select properties uh, and then select edit reference the edit reference window opens. This I'm going to change to C2 in the text box. Then I'm going to click OK. The other changes that I'm going to make, uh, but I'm not going to show them to you, I'm just going to mention them to you, is C2. I'm going to change to C1. U2, I'm going to change to U1. U3, I'm going to change to U2. And U4, I'm going to change to U2. Sorry, to J2. I'm going to change U4 to J2. As you can see, I've changed this to C1, this to U1, and this to U2, and this to 
J2. The circuit now complies with the uh, previous allocation of KiCad. We are now going to edit this U2 SI412 BDY transistor symbol. Select it, right click on it, select properties, then select edit with library editor. The symbol editor opens. Uh, we can zoom out a bit and make it a bit more central. Then click on pin, pin number one, select it, right click, select edit. The pin properties window opens where there is written pin name, right source, uh, electrical type, select output, click OK. I'm going to do exactly the same with pins 2 and 3. I'm not going to show you how, I'm just going to do it because it's exactly the same. As you can see, as far as pin 2 and 3 are concerned, they are exactly the same as pin 1. They are source pins and they are outputs. As far as pin 4 is concerned, select pin 4, right click, select edit, the pin properties window opens, in pin name, type in gate, uh, electrical type, select input, click OK. Now, as far as pin 8 is concerned, select it, right click, uh, select edit, uh, pin name, type in drain, uh, electrical type, select input, click OK. Uh, as far as pins 5, 6 and 7 are concerned, they are, are exactly the same as pin 8. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it because it is exactly the same. I'm just going to do it. As you can see, pins 5, 6 and 7 are exactly the same as pin 8. All of them are drain inputs of the MOSFET transistor. Now click save and close the window. And as you can see U2 was accordingly updated. The um, pins have the names as we allocated it to them and we have managed to edit this symbol. I think this is enough for now. Next time I will discuss the electrical rules checker. I do provide links in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you feel this video has helped you, give it a like. If you would like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.